There are a lot of expensive phones in the world, but when it comes to limited edition and crazy expensive, I don't think there is anything else like this. There are people who love collecting things that are rare, which will not be mass produced. Well, there are only three of this phone in the entire world. It's the Goldfish Le Million, and you guessed it, it costs well over $1.3 million. It was made back in 2006, and that's it. There are only three of those phones in the entire world. Its body is made out of 18 karat white gold and it's covered with 120 karat diamond. It also has a pretty unique boomerang like design which is not really found anywhere else. Maybe some World 2 phones but nothing is as flashy and bling bling as this phone. And even though this thing is not a smartphone, I don't think the purchaser would be worrying about the RAM or the storage capacity. It's an extremely limited edition phone so even if you have the money, you can't buy it directly anymore. Only three of them exist and you have to contact the person who owns it now. Just like any other vintage accessory, since this was launched in 2006, it'll have that nostalgic dumb phone feel to it. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? $1.3 million for a phone that can't really browse the internet. I mean, I have to say, like, there is no way anyone would not notice this in your hand. You sit down at the poker table and drop this on there, everyone will be looking at that. The front glass has a pretty curved design to it, which is, you know, always been premium. I mean, Samsung did it way later in 2016, so this was pretty popular back in 2006. Of course, I imagine it was much easier because it's not a touchscreen or anything, so curving the glass to make it look good was probably an easy thing to do, especially for this price range. The Goldwish has made many other luxury editions of normal phones, just like how Caviar makes luxury solid gold iPhones. I mean, people own expensive things as a status symbol. Cars, houses, now phones too. Apple capitalized on the same thing and they are a big name even in like not so rich markets like India, Russia. No one really cares which phone you have in the US, but outside of US in most other like lesser or stronger economies, it's a big deal if you have an iPhone or at least it used to be. Thankfully the competition has caught up and you get really great phones at much lower prices now, so iPhones are not that big of a deal, but something like this will not go unnoticed for decades. This phone is for a personality that only has two extremes, either you love that person or you hate that person, there is no in between. Either they are a complete baller and an amazing superstar or they are an absolute douchebag that no one likes. Only these people can own that phone. I mean gold is a pretty soft metal so I'm not sure how durable these bodies will be. But then again it's not pure gold, it's 18 karat so you know it's not 99% purity or anything. They would have mixed other materials in there to make the body stronger. You don't get to hear about these phones as much nowadays but uh, I guess there are still people who look out for them. I don't know, maybe as a collector's item. What do you think about these crazy luxury phones? Goldfish Le Million. I mean, I guess people buy crazy stuff all the time. I mean, look at NFTs. They fall in the same category. They are inherently useless, overpriced, but still people buy them. This is probably purchased in the same way. Like maybe they're hoping that one day another investor will give them like double or triple the money because it now has more value. I don't know about a stupid JPG image, but at least this has actual precious metals on its body. So it can be sold down to a pretty good profit.